On the 40th anniversary of the iconic moonwalk, the crew of Apollo 11 recounted their historic journey to the moon. In one of their few joint public appearances, the crew of Apollo 11 spoke to a packed crowd at Smithson Institute's time, National Air and Space Museum on Sunday. The public appearance proved to be a chance for the astronauts to pitch for a trip to Mars. Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon, said the best way to honor the Apollo astronauts was to follow in their footsteps and boldly go again on a new mission of exploration. Apollo 11 is a symbol of what a great nation and a great people can Tonight, I'd like to share with you a glimpse of where we can go in the next 40 years if only we are willing to be truly bold. The best way to honor and remember all those who were part of the Apollo program is to follow in our footsteps, to boldly go again on a great new mission of exploration. It was the ultimate peaceful competition, USA versus USSR. I'll not assert that uh, it was a diversion which prevented a war. Nonetheless, it was a diversion. It was intense, and it did allow to both sides to take the high road with the objectives of science and learning and exploration. Even as the world celebrates the 40th anniversary of the moon landings, the big question is, where does the future of space exploration lie? On the one hand, we have second man on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, insisting that we go beyond moon exploration. On the other hand, we have astrophysicists like Arlen Kroth, who believe there's a lot more to discover still about the moon. They support the return of man on the moon. In New York, Natasha Srani for Times Now.